In Matthew 4, it says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. To what? Be tempted by who? The in the wilderness. God will test you. It's in the wilderness where I learn to either trust in God or in my fears. If you are in the wilderness today, God is in the middle of it. Some of you are not in a physical wilderness today, but you might be in a relational wilderness. Be very careful. You're in a relational wilderness. The devil will always attack you the hardest in your weakest moments. The devil will always offer you the temporary things of this world in exchange for your soul, in exchange for God's anointing on your life, in exchange for God's purpose on your life. You have to understand the devil wants to bless you with the things of this world so much that it actually curses you. Do you know what happened right before he was tempted? He was baptized. Do you know what happened right after he was tempted? His public ministry began. What I'm trying to say is that Satan will always try to defeat you before you take one step toward your destiny. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 26, he said, for what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? The wilderness will test you, try you, challenge you, squeeze you, crush you. God will bless you. Because every person who leaves the wilderness will never be the same person who entered the wilderness. You'll never be the same. You'll never be the same.